What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchPotentials.com. So the new preview version of Twin Motion just dropped and it's containing that one new feature that everyone has been waiting for. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so right now you can go to the Epic Games Launcher under the Unreal Engine section in the Twin Motion tab, and you can click on the drop down and you can pull down the Twin Motion Community Edition 2023.2 preview version. Note this is a beta version, so I wouldn't go through and like uninstall your old versions or anything like this. You can download that and give that a try. And so let's go ahead and open this up. And what you're going to notice now, and this is a huge deal, by the way, um, they've upgraded this to support Unreal Engine um, 5.3. And with it, they've also added support for Lumen. So for those of you that don't know, this is a real-time global illumination system um, that you can use in order to um, visualize the way that your light bounces. Okay, so if you remember previously, the way that this worked is you either had your real-time mode or your path trace mode, right? And so there was kind of some limitations in the uh, real-time mode. So if you clicked in here, and clicked on the option to go into path trace mode, what this would do is this would give you an image that actually simulates the way that light bounces. Notice how this, the reflections in this glass are significantly better in that path trace mode, but the problem with it is if you rotated your model, it wasn't really real time anymore, right? Like it would have to go, it would have to re-render, and I've got this on the lowest quality setting, um, but you had to use this in order to quickly or in order to re-render your images every time. And if you really wanted to do anything with your reflections or other things like that, what you needed to do is you needed to add in like a reflection probe, right? So if I drag a reflection probe in here, what this would do is this would kind of like simulate the way light would bounce in here. It would give you the ability to at least simulate some of those reflections. Now, in this new version, they've added support for Lumen. And so what Lumen does is this does this in real time. So what we wanna do is we wanna jump into the our, our ambiance section of our scene right here. We wanna click on the option for render. And then if we scroll down underneath the real time or path tracer, if we leave this on real time, there's an option here for Lumen. Well, when I click on this, Notice what this is doing. This is actually giving us the global illumination in here from the lighting in real time. That means that I can fly around here and see all of the light reflections off of all the different surfaces in real time. Now, um, just to kind of like remind you of what a big deal this is, let me take this back to what it was before. So if I go back to standard mode, this is what this generally looked like. Right, so look at the reflections coming off of this stove model. Well, if I toggle into Lumen, those light or the light bouncing off of the glass and the reflections are significantly more realistic in Lumen. So if you look at this, I can actually see the reflection of everything on this surface. Um, so there are some things that you can set in here, like for example, the distance at which this is going to happen. Right, if you set this to zero, then it's not going to do Lumen at all. Um, but you can set the distance at which this is happening. That's going to be a performance thing, but one other thing that I want you to see, not only is this giving us realistic reflections off of things like glass, it's also giving us things like ambient occlusion and a lot more detail um, for our lighting. So if I zoom into these pillows, right, and look at them right here, then I toggle over into Lumen, notice that these are significantly more realistic um, because it's actually simulating the way that the light goes into the crevices under the pillow like this. So it's just giving me a much better look for my overall model. And you can see how the detail of the shadows in here with Lumen is just like, there's no comparison between the standard and the Lumen version right here. It just brings out so much more detail and makes this look more realistic. And honestly, what's amazing about this is the result that we get in here is not that different from the result we get in the path traced mode. So, um, and I might wanna toggle this over to maybe like medium or high so that we can get a better look at this. So in a lot of situations, we're actually getting a better real time result with Lumen than we are with the path tracing in here, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, this is so cool the way that this works, um, the way that it's giving you the realistic reflections and everything like that. There are some other settings in here that you can adjust. So you can set your reflections to optimized or full depending on your performance. Um, but having Lumen in here is an absolute game changer for the um, amount of detail that you get in your models. This is another great example. If I toggle into Lumen right here, look how much better this looks 
when you use Lumen as opposed to when you don't. And so one other cool thing about this is this is actually updating in real time. So if I was to come in here and say, move this shower door, notice how the lighting and the reflections on this tub are actually going to update in real time as well. So I think that gives us a lot of cool options um, for different things inside of Twin Motion when it comes to creating animations. Um, but just the real time nature of this lighting is just kind of mind blowing to me, honestly. I'm super excited to see what else people are gonna be able to do with this. Okay, so there are a couple other changes in here that are going to be important. So first off, there are some limitations. Some things like the uh, cycloramas and the LED walls are not currently supported um, because they're a different kind of object. Um, so scattered paint and painted vegetation currently isn't adding to the light bounces. So there are some things that aren't working, but in general, the whole thing looks great. And so they've also adjusted your real world lighting so that you can actually use like realistic sun intensity values for your exterior lighting. Um, it looks like they're looking for some feedback on exactly how that's going to work. Um, so that's something that I think they're looking for people to go in and test. And so there's an optimized basic glass material designed to allow you to quickly add glass um, and simplify the whole glass rendering process. There's also a mode in here where you can keep the hierarchy of a Sketchfab asset, which bringing those in and then working with individual parts and pieces um, can be really tricky if you don't keep that hierarchy. So this is a good thing. But the other big change in here is they've changed the way the free version works a little bit. Um, so instead of just having like a twin motion free trial, they've changed the name of the twin motion trial to the twin motion community edition. So it's free to use for non-commercial projects. Um, it is limited to a 2k resolution. And now there's a little bit of a watermark included in here. Um, but that's now the name of this. You're not going to get access to the Twin Motion Cloud with that version um, anymore. And the Twin Motion Cloud is actually a pretty cool tool. So if you're a professional, um, it's definitely something that you might want to check out. And save, so they've also changed the price of the commercial edition. I think it was 499 before. That price has gone up to $749 for a perpetual license. So that's a perpetual license. It's a one-time payment and you get to keep the version that you buy. Um, this will include upgrades for a year. Um, beyond a year, um, if you want to upgrade to the new version, it's $199. So instead of having that, uh, instead of having that subscription price, this is still a one-time payment for one version. And then if you want to upgrade in the future, um, there's going to be a cost to that. And so I'm not sure if that pricing change has currently been incorporated or if that's something that's going to be rolled out in a future time frame, but just be aware that that price is going to change. And this is kind of the new terms of the way Twin Motion is going to work. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new feature. Is it a game changer for you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. Remember that you can get training on how to use Twin Motion inside of my SketchUp Essentials course that's on sale through the end of the week. I'll link to that on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.